<laughs> oh, GameStop. GameStop, GameStop, GameStop. What's wrong with you? So, uh, GameStop, as you know, is a video games seller and retailer that's kind of been going down the crapper lately. Profits are down. Uh, They've had to close down a number of stores that failed to keep up with the times and the company's suffering as a result. And uh, with that comes a certain level of desperation that has led to the following story. Uh, so here's a statement that GameStop put out there for employees who are concerned about the ongoing current events about their safety. They said that they're too important to close down during these times. Here is the specific memo that was sent out to staff this afternoon obtained by Kotaku. It reads as follows. Due to the products we carry that enable and enhance our customers' experience in working from home, we believe GameStop is classified as essential retail and therefore is able to remain open during this time. We have received reports of local authorities visiting stores in an attempt to enforce closure despite our classification. Store managers are approved to provide the document linked below to law enforcement as needed. Think about that for a minute. GameStop is saying that what they sell, video games, is essential. As essential as food, medicine, water, you name it. And the real kicker is that even if video games were somehow essential, due to the nature, the digital nature of video games, guess what? You can buy them online, you can download them, uh, there's all kinds of way to play games without having to physically be at a retail chain, at a store, at a GameStop. So any excuse that GameStop is putting out there right now about how essential they are, like so essential that they have to stay open during a lockdown during these times, yeah, nobody's buying it. And suffice to say that the backlash they're facing right now uh, is not good for already awful optics surrounding what is very much a dying company. And uh, just to further highlight concerns from GameStop employees, here's an article from two days ago, March 16th, 2019, in which Kotaku reported uh, a number of quotes from employees who are worried about the fact that they have to keep working during these times. GameStop tried to alleviate concerns by saying that they have employed key strategies to protect customers and employees, including providing its 5,700 retail stores with cleaning supplies and hand sanitizer, instructing employees to stay home if they're symptomatic, and encouraging customers to purchase products online rather than at retail locations. But according to testimonials from employees, GameStop seemingly hasn't really employed any particular safety measure. So one a GameStop supervisor who remained anonymous said, thus far I've seen little to no measures taken from corporate and I've certainly haven't seen any supplies. My colleagues and I are sharing a small bottle of hand sanitizer that was purchased through our own pockets as well as making as much usage out of a depleting bottle of all-purpose cleaner. We were only just given permission to turn off console demos yesterday and my cleaning supplies have been back ordered for two months. As far as more immediate measures Measures go, the stores in my area have received nothing. So all this they're claiming about, you know, cleaning supplies and hand sanitizer and this whole idea of encouraging customers to purchase products online. Yeah, GameStop, you know what's another great way to encourage people to purchase stuff online? Close down your brick and mortar retail stores, but you're not doing that, are you? Because you actually want customers to come in. Not to mention that apparently it took GameStop quite a while for them to finally close down the demo stations, which, you know, everyone's getting their hands on and touching and possibly uh, spreading things even more. With all of that in mind, you can clearly see that uh, corporate is not really taking much responsibility. They're not really doing what needs to be done. And then here's another uh, GameStop employee from California's Bay Area stating, we are unable to go out to purchase these items ourselves and have them expensed. At least in my store's regard, it's virtually impossible to find the items we need to adequately clean and sanitize the stores and keep ourselves as safe as we can. And a third employee said, one store is completely out of toilet paper. Yeah, been there and had to close their restroom because supplies responded to their email saying they were not shipping to stores. So as far as, you know, hygienic supplies go, 
those just haven't been able to be provided to employees to many of these stores, either because there's just not enough supply or because corporate is just not paying enough attention to this essential step. And keep in mind, we're talking about an environment where people are constantly touching things, whether it be game boxes or the demo stations and whatnot. There's a lot of human contact and interaction going on within GameStop. And as much as employees want to just say, nope, I'm staying home, you know, they fear losing their jobs because the mandate is, no, you got to come in and do your work. So one employee said, many associates are fearing losing their jobs because store leaders or district leaders are telling us internally that if we stay home and do not supply a doctor's note verifying we're being doctor ordered to not work, it will be an unexcused absence. How ridiculous is that? That an employee trying to take a precautionary measure by staying home is deemed an unexcused absence. Now, as for why GameStop is so keen on staying open amidst these times, amidst this international incident, well, uh, we know, as I've uh, previously said, that GameStop is suffering as a company. They just haven't been performing particularly well. And this whole situation where they're forced to close down stores temporarily was the last thing they needed right now. And, uh, you know, with all the layoffs that have been occurring and all the store closures and all the profits that they've been losing with each quarter. Yeah, these guys are desperate to make that money back. And the fact of the matter is that GameStop sales have increased amidst these times because people are looking for ways to entertain themselves while they are stuck at home. So they're keeping the doors open because they feel like this is an opportunity to monetize, to make money. Um, and uh, that's a pretty crappy mindset to have considering the consequences. You can sort of imagine what the response has been like after Jason Schreier published his article. Just scrolling down, you can see that people are both ridiculing and lambasting GameStop. And I think a big reason for why GameStop has been on this downwards trend is because they don't have a good reputation right now. You hear these stories about how they treat their employees and you know, you hear from customers about how they're treated by GameStop and the like. GameStop just isn't a good place to work in. Generally, you hear that GameStop employment is just rife with horror stories, and you hear all of these different stories from customers that paint a negative light on GameStop. The optics surrounding the company is just as bad as it can be, and this certainly isn't gonna help matters with the corporate folks at GameStop, the higher-ups, mandating that these stores stay open and that employees have to come into work if they don't want to lose their jobs. Just reading through all of these Twitter comments on social media you, will give you a pretty good idea for um, how disgusted people are at this whole situation. And this story is rapidly spreading. It's already on trending right here. You can see 49,000 tweets. To close things off, I'd like to present information here on the official GameStop subreddit where one user claiming to be a GameStop employee posted their grievances with the way GameStop has been handling all this, talking about how bad the situation is right now on an international level, and then pointed out stuff like, major retailers across the board are adjusting hours if not just closing. Schools are shutting down across the country. This leads to even more kids going literally everywhere, especially here. We've had the best sales days we have seen in months. Of course, corporate wants us to stay open. Most stores are out of almost everything relevant. This means now people are combing through all of our inventory to find anything that was missed. This individual also seems to confirm reports that corporate has not in fact provided, you know, a hygienic uh, supplies to mitigate the situation. This paragraph reads, corporate responded by saying they have supplied us with sanitation supplies and hand sanitizer for high touch surfaces, but most stores have seen nothing. Our entire stores are high touch. It's how we brand ourselves as being superior over so many of our competitors, they sent a message out via email and show a message on GSTV, GameStop TV, several times a day to reassure guests that we're doing our best to prevent spread. And then this individual claiming to be an employee 
put it in simple terms, they're lying to everyone at this point. All corporate cares about is making up for those missed sales earlier in the year and buffing for what we're going to miss later. I can't clean anything in my store. I can't ensure my team isn't carrying it right now. I can't guarantee I won't accidentally contribute to some of my favorite regulars who are highly susceptible and end up making them sick. Corporate doesn't give a fuck about the customer or the stores. They're taking advantage of this awful situation. Every day we're open, regular hours, and more places are closing. Some state cities are down to delivery and takeout for food. But we're still here slinging games and KPIs to keep our jobs. As more places close and adjust hours and we don't, we become one of the last destinations for people to go. This means we become a hot spot for spread, especially considering we're still taking trades from anyone that walks in, which contaminate even more of our other products. So yeah, just a crappy situation all around, particularly for GameStop employees. And uh, one can only hope that GameStop does eventually make the right decision, let the employees go home so they can stay safe without the fear of losing their jobs. And more importantly, so they don't have to worry about potentially contributing to the spread to the international incident, to potentially putting customers coming in in peril. Just the level of bullshit that GameStop is engaging in amidst all of this to save face is especially egregious, talking about how they're essential retail when this is as BS as they can get. Uh, They're being called out for it. There's a whole lot of backlash and ridicule coming their way, and it's only been a couple hours since this story started spreading. Look forward to that, GameStop executives, who seem to have zero consideration for the fact that A lot of people's livelihoods and a lot of people's lives are in their hands and they clearly don't give a damn. And let's get one thing straight here. I'm not just talking about GameStop employees. I'm talking about GameStop actively contributing to the spread, actively putting many people's lives at risk. So that's all I have to say on the matter. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on GameStop's latest statement regarding them being too essential to close stores during lockdown. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.